Greetings MechWarriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is TTB, welcome back to TTB's Scrapyard in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Now last time we left off we got a new battle mech which is a Cicada and uh, we got our mechs banked up a little bit. We are currently in a conflict zone, let's see how much extra markup we have for repair. 25% and 35% longer time taken, yeah that's alright. So we've got this Javelin, Centurion, Jenner, Locust and the Cicada. So uh, we will be able to turn up a little bit, the Cicada is not much better armed than the Locust per se, but it's gonna have a lot more armor, which is going to be helpful. So, let's go ahead and repair our gentleman mechs right here, and then see what kind of missions are available in this beautiful, beautiful star system. Let's have a look at the Cicada first though, because I don't wanna just uh, let the PC repair it. Hello. I want to decide what this thing does, and I look at this thing and I go like, no, 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 no. First and foremost, this thing, for armor in the back is enough, it needs the armor up front. And what you'll see, guys, is that we might actually get into a problem very quickly. Because if you try out to armor up this cicada, it might actually be completely useless. Because it's too heavy. And it's exactly looking like that. So, I think we're learning something valuable here. The lesson is, guys, a fully armored cicada does not exist. This is a fully armored cicada. Not even the head. Okay, um, let's armor the head fully. A fully armored cicada is two and a half tons over its actual tonnage limit. Okay, so it looks like my instincts were actually correct. And this is a crap mech. Okay, okay. Not a problem. No, 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 no. We will not make any changes to this mech. No, 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 no. This thing... We'll go instantly into cold storage, we'll rip apart the lasers and the flamer, we'll pull it out of cold storage. This thing is going into rapid selling mode. Uh, I will find an idiot that will pay top bills for this slightly used hunger junk that is completely useless. Okay, now that that's been uh, clarified, let's go ahead and wait a little bit until the Centurion is refit. And now, let's see what contracts we have. All for House Devian, Assassination, Warzone and Raid. Um, Guys, I would like to ask you a question, because I've played raid missions yesterday on livestream together with my viewers, and we got our asses kicked. Like, we didn't die, but we either got almost destroyed, or we actually had to cancel the mission, because raid is designed in a way where waves of waves of enemies spawn until you take out the objectives. The problem is, the, these waves spawn very quickly, and they spawn very close to you. So... In short, you're just getting overwhelmed by sheer masses of enemies that you can't shoot as fast as they are spawning. And we're talking about me in a king crab with double AC-20s. So, um, it might be a thing where raids just get ridiculously hard after a certain difficulty, because I remember in the beta, the raid mission was not a problem. It was actually a very fun mission to play, but uh, it might be overtuned a little bit. So, let's start with the raid. Let's see if I get my ass handed to me. <laughs> it's always a good, a good way to start the day. Let's see if we get our asses handed to us. Except... It should be a simple job against pirates. Yeah, yeah. I'll believe that when I see it. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll still have a Locust in our lands. We're not that lucky with battle max this round, aren't? but that is okay. That is the mercenary's life, guys. Sometimes you just gotta work to get some better stuff. So Centurion is ready. Everything else looks ready. My pilots look ready and waiting. Oh, and by the way, on the live stream. Leon uh, just got cockpit killed, so he's dead. Which is very sad because this is hands down the best pilot I've ever seen, uh, aside from my own stats. So yeah, sad things are happening in the world of Mech Warrior 5. Now, the initial euphoria is, is out of the way. Now, since we're playing this game more, um, you see that it's still fun, but you also see some some little problems like with the multiplayer and everything. So. I'm expecting to do a, a longer review video this week, where I talk about a, a few of the issues that I found, but um, still, my TLDR online. remains the same. Sensors it's good, online. play it! Weapons online. Alright. All systems nominal. 
Here we go. So, we've got two targets to destroy. Okay, instead of five last time. Let's get my guys to follow up with me. And so we tried it in two ways, actually. Oh, interesting. Uh, close spawn to us. We tried to do these missions in two different ways. We tried it in just, just rushing to the objectives, killing everything and then getting out, which did not work. And we tried fighting everything as much as we could, which resulted in us barely making the mission, but we almost lost, like, an assault mech into heavy, so... Um, it wasn't worth it. Hands down, the mission just was not worth it in the end. So, I'm very wary of the uh, great mission type, and I wonder if you guys had the same experience. And if you did, write it down in the comments, tell me exactly what happened. Maybe there is a pattern here, maybe there's a bug here, so where it gets unplayable just after a certain level. Or maybe I am just a scrub lord, and I don't know how to play the game. Also helicopter. Thank you guys. And by the way, I've uh, seen that it really helps if you give your guys longer range weapons. They seem to be very good with things like PPCs because the AI might not be the smartest movers or the fastest movers, but what they can absolutely do is aim and hit. So if you give them weapons that have long range and can take down targets quickly, uh, you will have a good time. Come on guys, let's go. Also that's an SRM2 turret. I'll take them out. Beautiful. I'm gonna go around this corner and then instantly engage. What is that? Okay. That hit marker make no, made no sense. Well, that, that that does make sense though. Uh, that's an urban mech. That's an AC-10 burst fire urbi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of want that AC-10, so maybe we'll just go for legs here. Try and brawl him down as fast as possible. That's almost a leg. One more laser to this leg should do it. Go. Now we got the other leg. Good thing is, Urbis are very slow, so they're easy to leg. And these walls, by the way, guys, if you have a heavy mech or an assault mech, you can just walk through them. You don't even have to shoot them if you want to get through there. Also, I'm stuck now. Okay, so I have to go. What? Hello? The mom was weg. Okay, I'm unstuck. Perfect. So, our mission target has been killed. We can move on to the next one. So, this is not a problem so far. But that is level 13 difficulty or something like that. And we were doing level 50. And as I said, it was just weird. And it happened multiple times, so... Everybody on stream agreed it's not a good idea to do these. <laughs> At least not in the higher difficulties. It's just dangerous. I'm trying to not hit my teammates here. Ah, oh, that leg is not killed yet. Uh-huh. And let's sweep it. Can we sweep it? No. Enemy mech destroyed. All right. Enemy I love the helicopters, how they go down and explode. The little flash of light. I think that's very well done. They only had done as much work on the story as they did on some of these effects. Or if they had more time, maybe. I don't know. It would have been glorious. So once again, guys, as I said, we need to keep going here because we're raiding behind enemy territory and they're gonna keep spawning in like crazy. Um, if they actually came by dropship and not spawned right on top of us, that would also help. But uh, yeah, let's go to the objective, take that down, and that should be it. On you, Commander. Hopefully my guys can actually follow up and Target form up on me, which is taking them quite a while. That's surprising because they all have a lot more speed than I have. Let's just harass the harasser with LRMs. No, he's in cover. You little Target rascal. Oh, acquired. also Scorpion tank. I got it. That's our target. Which is perfect because it's a high target, we just shoot it. Objective down. And where's the extraction point? Over here. Yeah, yeah. We are getting out of here. So we only had to kill what? Two mechs? Alright. I can live with that. Even though it took quite a bit of damage on my mech. I mean, it's nothing serious. We're still very healthy and everything, but. Uh, my armor got scratched, and I don't like it when my paint gets scratched. I'm always thinking about all the repair costs for that poor paint. Let's take away the detour warrior. Tango eliminated. Just by going backwards Target and acquired. still shooting. Sometimes that can be an interesting tactic. And we have two thirds speed backwards, Target so destroyed. easy peasy. Alright. There's my right. Oh, acquired. there's a turret. They came from out of nowhere. They spawned below our feet. 
mean, the turret actually has a fixed location, so if you see that little base thingy, you can suppose that it will be a turret, but <laughs> that would require you noticing that beforehand. So, we are home free, we didn't lose anybody, and we didn't get anybody crippled, so that's a win in my book. Let's go ahead and have a look at what we actually achieve with this, while I'll have a victory sip of coffee. 100 reputation, 310k sea bills. And we get, let's see, we get the burst fire AC-10, we get the medium laser. If you want to go for salvage guys, shoot the legs. If you want to go for mech salvage guys, get them to eject or kill the cockpit. Let's get those two medium lasers and then what? Well, I guess SRM ammo and small lasers. Okay, 400k total salvage, nobody wounded and damage is a minimum. That is what I like to see. All right. By the way, guys, what we really need is a repair all button. That would be creature comfort. That would be a lot of creature comfort. Everybody wants the repair all button. So let's wait here and we're ready for our next mission, which will be a war zone with very little salvage actually available. So I can actually crank this mission up all to the maximum. Um, conditions will be extreme. <laughs> okay, so we're going after insurgents, uh, it's going to be uh, 14 days in an iron oxide biome, okay. Um, that's alright, so we'll just go in there and kill everything until we can get out of there again. That is basically how the warzone missions work, and I don't mind them. Warzone and defense so far are enjoyable. I also like assassination, if you find the target and if the map is not too big, because then you're running around the map for ages trying to find targets, but assassination can have some really, really good mechs. Kind of like in the Battletech mission as well, where the uh, the main target might have something really juicy, and if you have enough salvage rights, meaning enough high uh, merc company level, plus enough high reputation with the uh, person that actually gives you the contract, you can have a lot of fun with this. Well, let's go ahead and ready up, and then we're going to drop onto this unsuspecting planet. <laughs> we're launching. All right, so welcome to Mars. Also, welcome to Harris is spawning right behind us. <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess that was just a random harasser, and we just got dropped in the middle of nowhere, so there is a chance that we would not have intel on him, but um, see, that's the next thing. We just look at this direction, we kill the harasser there, and then all of a sudden a scorpion tank, and two VTOLs appear out of nowhere. Well, the VTOLs, okay, I get they were far away, but those tanks? Weird. Very, very weird. Okay. So, let's get our asses to Mars. And by that, I mean, let's go to the base. I swear to you, if I see Proto Molecule or Bobby Draper, I'm running. Because I might be no Centurion, but I would be scared of Bobby. Well, let's see what we have here to support us. We've got two turrets, which are a joke, and we have this gentleman right here in a assassin that uh, has SRM2, LRM5, and a medium laser. So basically, we have no support, which is okay. Uh, we still have to find that last target. I have a feeling. I have a feeling this last target might actually be behind us. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, because I just saw this building right here. This kind of building normally has some treasure in it, or has had some treasure in it in, the, in that one mission. In that one mission, story mission in the beginning. Has anyone ever found loot in one of these, aside from that one story mission? I would like to know that. Has anybody ever found loot in one of these after that one story mission? Because I haven't. And I think it's maybe an oversight or something, or... Because it could be some nice little addendum that they have on some planets that you just happen to find. Oh, there we go, it's a locust. We just happen to find one of these um, caches and there's some stuff in it. Or you could come across like a, an old Starlink planet and you could find like an old Starlink cache or whatever that has been um, excavated or whatnot by locals and you just happen to find it during a mission and you just uh, happen to take it because it's there. And uh, I mean, what are the locals going to do, right? Fight you for it? I mean, you got a battle mech, so. <laughs> 
It's a no contest. Also, that locust is becoming annoying. Target Stop alert. running! You've there we go. Alright, alright. Yep, let's brace for contact. Let's brace for love. Let's see where the love is coming from. So far, I see no love. I wish I had a 360 degree radar dish on my head that would just spin. That would help a lot. Um, hello. Okay, nothing so far. Oh, contact. No, it's Airwolf once again. Bye bye, Airwolf. You have been cancelled for 20 years. Don't think I won't know that. I'm just gonna use the LRMC here against those Scorpion tanks. And the reason is because, well, um, there was one to say, yeah, yeah, he can't hit me at this range or not easily, but uh, apparently he can. So, uh, so much for my amazing tactic here. Bye bye, Jack. Oh, and here they are, right behind us, where they like to be. And that locust literally spawned a couple of meters away from me. Let's kill the Harrison um, with better aim than I do. These guys are gone. Let's kill the locust. Okay, where are my two VTOLs? There they are. Never forget about the VTOLs. They will do a lot of damage to your back if you're not careful. But LRM10 is actually pretty nice at taking these guys down. Especially if you can keep the lock. Alright. Time to deal with the locust. Boom. Oh. And insta spawn once again. Okay. More locust hunting. It's also important, guys, that you look at the icons. For example, this icon here um, it faces downward. That means tank. If that thing faces upward, it will mean a flying target. That way, see this this thing for example, it's open and it faces upward, so it tells you that this is a flyer, not a tank. But it's not a flyer anymore. I, I've I've somewhat remodeled that thing into a crasher. TTB does instant engineering and stuff. It turns flyers into crashers. It turns tanks into scrap metal. Also more locusts. For whatever reason, the enemy is sending swarms and swarms of locusts. What is this, the Bible? Ah, these guys are hard to hit at this range. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. We will get a little bit closer here and start actually hitting these guys. Where it hurts. <laughs> Can't hit him. <laughs> TTB. The weasel hunting skills are off. It's not working anymore. There we go. A tangos up here to bring in additional tango for dancing. Sure. Alright, let's take down this commando. I would like to leg him actually because those SRMs could be nice. If my guys can be bothered to not shoot the arms for a change. Because that leg is looking juicy. There we go, we got that leg. I need the other one. Hopefully not with teammates walking on in front of me. There we go, that's the kill. That's a flying target above me. Hello there, good sir. And bye bye, good sir. Which leaves us with a locust and a tank. Battlefield intelligence. That was a hit. Aha! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna work with that LRM20 carrier. There we go, no more LRM20s. And my teammates can try to take out this guy. Beautiful. No, we're not. We are getting the hell out of here. We're getting the hell out of here. It's not worth it, guys. All our mechs are still healthy, all our pilots are healthy. We could stick around, but it's like only like 20, 30k per kill. We would have to kill quite a few waves here, and not with those suboptimal uh, mechs and suboptimal builds. If this were human players, I would say, yeah, sure. Uh, what do we have here, by the way? It's a javelin. Okay, well, maybe, maybe we can... Let's see. Because he's got SM6s, maybe we can salvage some of these. The greed is starting to come in now. Oh, that was a miss. Okay, so we killed him, and as you can see, we get how much bonus? 
26,700. We're moving in behind you, Commander. That's probably about as much damage as he could do to my mech lands until he dies, so I don't think it's worth it. Instead, we will be a prudent mech commander and we will command everybody to form up on me, including that one idiot that doesn't form up. Yeah, shut up, Rihanna. Shut up. Or I'll call you Ryan. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and apparently we got the kill on the harasser just as we extracted. 100 reputation, 275k C bills. And we could get two locusts, which we can't claim because the total salvage claim availability on this mission was not very high. But I can get the SM6 and some extra value from the burst fire and the LRM10. So just a little bit of extra cash and flux is going to be nice. And Devian is starting to trust us more, which is also good. Continue. And as you can see, damage overall is very light. That's what I like to see in a mission. Okie dokie. Then let's go ahead and repair our mechs. Da -da 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 -da. And have a look at what is still available on this planet. And that is going to be an assassination mission here in Volcanic Biome. So things are going to heat up, but we're going to check that out in the next episode. So guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, especially on the question about the raid mission type. And if you would like to join me sometime, then head on over to Discord in the MW5 channel. Make yourself known. And if you really enjoy this content, guys, check out my Patreon page, become an active member and a supporter of TTB. Help me make more and better content. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping you have a great day. Take care.